welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome girl did you get your hands on butterfly phone you done read it already <laughs> i'm excited because we about to talk about it this video is a book discussion i'm assuming that because you clicked on this source you done read the book you purchased the book and you ready to come talk about it. Okay? If you haven't, sus, and you don't want me to drop no spoilers on that ass, I advise you to go ahead and save this to your watch later videos. Get the book, read it, then come back. It was the fact that the book was 406 pages for me. Before I get into the discussion questions that's in the back of the book, I'm gonna just share my immediate thoughts. Was I the only person who felt like this book kind of took me back to ethic series. And when I say that, I mean, ethic had done tap back into that energy he was in before. When, when a person got it in them, so they got it in them. It was really exciting to see him get his hands dirty all over again. And then we saw the crew all together again. He seen Alani tap into that insecure energy. We had Yaya come show her ass back up. I feel like they had to play cat and mouse again because Alani was running again and Ethic had to chase her and make her feel secure in the relationship. Might I add that that's what you men should be doing now. I just had deja vu, boo. And I love that because I love the Ethic series. I don't know if I was the only one feeling like that you was feeling like that too or no maybe okay whatever that's the energy i got from butterfly four compared to the rest of them did ashley not come the through with how bash made his exit i don't know if you watched my discussion video for butterfly four where i begged auntie to be sure that his death was tortured slow, steady. Auntie around here granting wishes. She the goddamn genie, honey. Cause she damn sure came through. I was so excited. I'm like, yeah, hit his ass. Ooh, I was excited, sis. I was cheering the whole damn thing on. I kind of low key too wish the mama had got a little piece of that too. She needed her ass beat too. Let's just <laughs> give a round of applause for how the hell Ashley came to fuck through on that one. She did the damn thing with that scene, okay? I just wanted to say that because it needed to be said. Number one, should Ethel let Morgan go? Was what she did forgivable? A lot of y'all might agree to disagree, but I personally feel like we as women, men too, because they talk a lot, do this all the time, pillow talking. You start feeling secure with a individual, somebody that you think is supposed to be your man, your mate, and you start sharing deep things with them. Don't look at me like that. I'm pretty sure you done told your man some sh that your homegirl done said or did that she was like, girl, don't tell nobody. Because y'all just was in the conversation. You felt like you could confide in him. Who the hell he gonna tell? He don't know her like that. Yo, that's how I felt when it came to Morgan. I don't feel like it was intentional. I don't feel like she was doing it because she was being spiteful or nasty towards ethic. At least that's what I don't remember. Just figured that she could confide in her man, her dude, or whatever the hell he was. Whatever the hell. I mean, I ain't saying that it was right. I'm just saying that she could have did worse things than that. Number two, was Zaya wrong for sending Yaya to ethics arraignment? Um, I think she was being a little messy now. Come on, you could have got a little crackhead on the corner and pay him a little money to go up in there and deliver a little quick message right quick. It ain't have to be her. She could have called ethic herself, left a text, or had somebody call or something. I don't know. It could have been handled a different way. All the people in the world, huh, Zaya? All the people in the world. Number three, did Henny make the right sacrifice or did he deliver unjustified heartache to young Bella? I have fallen for Henny. I kind of feel real, real crazy saying that being a grown-ass woman and he young as hell. I'm feeling a little bit pedophilish. Mm. I'm feeling real sugar mama-ish. I'm feeling real cougar-ish. I was torn, but I knew it was too good to be true with them two. I knew it was gonna be something that come through, some turmoil gonna come through and just rip that whole shit apart. But I was heartbroken, y'all. I really was like, Henny? Why Henny? Why? Why? I'm 
Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I had to get it together right quick, child. Let me tell you something right quick about these cheering them. They gonna love who they wanna love, honey. And it's almost like when you start forcing them to not love somebody, they love even harder. I kind of feel like I get where where ethic was what he was trying to do i guess you done already allow a lot of this you know what i'm saying like not literally allow it but you allowed it does that make sense so he doesn't see how they done became how they done you know you know what i'm saying so it's like now you want to step on toes and tell the boy he had to do what he had to do i was so heartbroken for fucking bella she was really willing to sacrifice y'all seen she had already started rearranging her life and stuff like that and I feel like he did what was best for her. He's not going to be able to swallow that well. It's going to hurt his whole heart. I wouldn't be surprised if he write her a letter every single day. He may not necessarily send it, but write her a letter every day while he's in there. Number four is Issa, too reckless. Is he biting off more than he could chew with how? He done already established that Issa done got a few screws that's loose. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't mind. He don't mind. So, I'm not even surprised that he's after trying to do what he was trying to do. I get it though, like kill or be killed. I ain't surprised. That's his whole character, child. Hothead, he's very reckless. That's just him. Number five, should a meek have taken on the depth alone? Um, that was really mature of him. In my mind, it was almost like he feel like everybody else got something to live for and he don't. Does that make sense? He felt like, okay, Morgan needs you, Messiah. You know what I'm saying? She can't take no more losses, even though losing him is also taking a fucking loss because sus is just confused. Or no, maybe she not confused because the way she went to chasing behind a meek, <laughs> I don't think she confused no more. But anyway, you know, see, look, I'm getting off the topic. Issa is dealing with Aria. So, you know, I don't know. I just feel like he felt like Maybe he owed that to them. I don't think he should have did it. I feel like they all could have came together and did some shit, honestly. It's a reason behind it. That's what I'm saying. Number six, was Amik wrong for leaving Morgan behind? Somebody had to disappear because Sus was all over the place, okay? Somebody had to disappear. Either Messiah had to, you know, exit stage left again or Amik had to do what the hell he, he did, okay? Because Sus was just torn. I don't know, y'all. I'm confused. What y'all feel about that? That's what I want to know. Was he wrong for leaving Morgan behind? I feel like he gave her the clarity that she needed as a woman. I've always wanted closure. And I feel like he gave that closure. So that was really big of him because he could have just left. And then it would have been another situation like it was with Messiah. It was allow her to know that he cared somewhat. Number seven, will he come back for her? Absolutely. I do feel like it. The way she handed off that tweet and ran. She's a runner, she's a track star. She got it all in when she gets home. That's the song that came in my mind when I read that whole scene. Source ran for what she wanted. Almost like the bodyguard with Whitney Houston. Remember at the end how she ran for what the fuck she wanted? Chap, that's what I felt. If Messiah didn't feel no type of way, no, any other time, honey, <laughs> he should have felt it that time. In front of all the family now? To me, she made her choice right then and now. I don't know. That was just, that's what I saw. That's what I felt. That's what I got from that visual. When I tapped into that visualization, that's what I got, Suez. I almost feel like they all going to be together. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be one of them poly type of relationships, okay? Um, I just don't see why not. I mean, he knows about her. She know about him. They know about each other. So why they won't get together and do the whole damn thing together? It works for a lot of people nowadays, child. Mm-hmm. Don't look at me like that. I ain't say me, I'm saying no. Number eight, Morgan and Messiah are connected so deeply. Why won't she just give in and let him come home? Because he hurt her. And because of all the turmoil that he put her through, things that happened that because of him caused different things to happen, it would be just too easy to be like, okay, babe, come on home. Let's try to make this work. I don't think she giving in because she want a meek. Because she don't really know what she want. Because she all over the place. Cause she just, cause she just Morgan. Plus, this is an Ashley book. So we not gonna see that that fast. You know what I'm saying? It's levels to it. You know, we gotta peel everything back. It's like an onion with many layers, okay? Eventually she might go ahead and give in, but right, not right now. Ain't gonna be that damn easy. 
Number nine, Messiah and Blue are so complicated. Why? What are they to one another? Do you have sex with your best friend or do you make love to her? Messiah took time answering. She had my son. If that's love making, then yeah, I guess we did. He didn't know what Blue had done or how she had done it, but she was constantly in his thoughts. Mo was in his heart. Thoughts? The heart one wants the heart wants, but when a bitch is on that mind, nobody not gonna tell me nothing different. You have, you know them type of situations where people been friends for four so long and they both done been through all type of relationships. Meanwhile, what they've been looking for been right in front of them type of situation. I almost feel like that is this situation. They both are in denial. You could have a friend and once you cross that line, there's no coming back emotions get involved feelings get involved that's why a lot of times you shouldn't even do it honey if your mind say no listen to your mind okay not the in my opinion i just feel like both of them are in denial they both really care about each other they both really love one another she's always there where's she going you know how men get that little thing where they feel like oh, she ain't going oh well that's messiah for blue she gonna always be there to me all of this description that I'm saying and what he said displays that there is something more there than what they're willing to admit it out of their own mouths. What I would think should happen is Morgan should go ahead and be with Meek and let Messiah go ahead and be with Blue. And they all live happily ever after. Is Messiah wrong for indulging in Blue? Problem with us females is that we tend to tap into emotion. If we detach the emotion, we will come out unbothered in a lot of these situations. We kind of get ourselves into it's just the nurturing, mothering side. You know what I'm saying? That we have that estrogen that we got up in us. That's what it really is. A lot of men can tap in and out, be unbothered, no problem. If I was Blue, okay? I'm around you, I done seen it all, I done heard it all, I done healed you, I was there when you, when nobody else, you confided in me, uh, we done even had sex, we don't even had a child, we, I will be hurt, I'll be torn, like, seeing him with Blue, I mean, with uh, Morgan all the time would really break my heart. In my mind, we have something that she would never have with him. I always say a man will only do what you allow him to do and he's indulging because she's available every single time. Number 11, can Messiah's therapist break through to him? Child, why I low-key feel something ain't right with that therapist? I almost feel like something gonna go down sexually with them. Like he may end up falling for her or she may end up falling for him or maybe she's working for somebody to gain information. I don't know, it's something about source. And am I mistaken, was she, entered, was that the therapist that Ethic put her to? Somebody put him on to her, right? He didn't just find her. I don't know, it's something about Suez. It's something about her. Can Messiah's therapist break through him? She's definitely gonna break through him. He's already talking about how she's beautiful, this and that, and all of this. And so I feel like he's gonna end up exploring the depths <laughs> of soot something is just something in the milk ain't clean like as my grandma would say something in the milk ain't clean with soot i don't know what it is but i get some type of vibe about her what y'all think number 12 the crew came together to kill bash will they ever be the same again um they were us the same again okay like that just goes to show that it's the type of thing where we put all that bullshit aside like friends do and then when it's time to ride baby it's time to ride the fuck we all got something in common. We want this nigga gone. We want him dead. You know what I'm saying? We want to punish him. And then later on, when we, you know, finish all this up, it will go back to the nonchalant shit. So I already feel like they are already working on bringing things back together again. I just feel like that whole situation with Mo kind of put a sour taste in, the, in all of their mouth, honestly. I don't know then. Because one thing about it, when shit like that happens, it don't never be the same again. It really don't. I'm kind of in between with that one. 13, what is the current state of Messiah and Meek's friendship? I don't think it, there is one. I think that they love one another. You're going to always have love for people that you fuck with the long way. But you know what I'm saying? It's one of them long handle spoons type of situation. It's a lot of shit got to be repaired. A lot of. 14, if Alani dies, will Ethic resent Baby True? Mmm. I doubt it. Ethic don't have no resentment bone in his body when it comes to his kids. Anybody else was really shocked as fuck when that was going on? Though you ever watched a movie, a Lifetime movie, try to be exact, and when somebody walking through the house and they play this type of music where it's like, 
And then you already know, like, oh, shit, when she hit that corner, honey, something going down when she hit that corner, that's how I felt. Because when they said that part about they seen all that blood and this and this was happening, I was like, oh, shit. I was trying to read even faster, baby, because I'm like, ooh, what's finna happen? What's finna happen? When she starts saying, no, go over there with the baby, go over there with the baby, I'm like, oh, shit, it's gonna be her. It's gonna be her. I don't think Alani's gonna die, though. But you know what? Let me take that back because I said the same thing about Ghost and Power. Like, how you let the main character die? I was like, man, he ain't gonna ever die. Tommy might die, but not, you know what I'm saying? They don't never let the main person, and shit me, they let Ghost die. So, hey, it's liable to happen. But I just don't feel like Ashley gonna kill off Anani. 15, now that Morgan knows about Messiah's cancer, will she forgive him for leaving? Mmm, that's a good question. I think she gonna really wanna know, like, why he ain't tell her. What she gonna feel some type of way about, though, is when she asks, do anybody else know? And when she finds out that Blue was there the entire time, y'all thought shit that already hit the fan. That's a lie. We ain't seen nothing yet. So it's gonna be mad mad. Big mad. She mad, but she's still gonna have some type of feeling, ill feeling toward him. Because it's gonna be like, why you couldn't tell me? Like, I would have been there for you. I would have wrote for you. And she would have feel like she's still gonna feel some type of way because it's like why wouldn't you confide in me i was your woman i was here did anybody else dislike how the hell messiah just landed that blow to the chest for morgan at the end of the book i knew eventually that was gonna come out oh if it wasn't for me he was only doing that because of me 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 i'm the one something i bet he ain't tell you that like ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's all I kept saying as I was reading. I would love to see how her feelings is going to be towards him now. Granted, he didn't say go be with her. He just said look after her. Be sure she good. The type of things that Amik has done, he did not direct that. Like how he's trying to make it seem. Because how he came off as, oh, I'm the one told him to come after you and be with you. And y'all get into one of those type of talks, deep talks, and you like... If anything happens to me, check on my kids. Be sure my kids good. Be sure my family straight. That's basically what I feel like he tried. He told him to do. Not like how he tried to make it seem. Can you believe that she's already doing pre-orders for book five? Butterfly five? Oh my gosh. Like, I can't wait to see what else is going to happen. I really cannot wait for the whole series with Bella and Henny. I'm ready to see how that shit is going on unfold what was your biggest like oh my gosh moment in this book child come and talk to me down in them comments sus if you have not watched my other book reviews for Ashley and Jaquavis, be sure to check them out. I'm going to have it linked here, boo. And if you made it to the end of this video, be sure to drop a butterfly in the comments. That's how I'm going to know it's real. I want to thank you so very much for taking the time out to watch my video. Until next time. Later.